Oriani of Truth and Transparency lost really big in court twice in the last week and multiple times in the last few months and is also facing criminal charges in Ohio. But on her channel, ironically branded Truth and Transparency, she hasn't acknowledged these losses, even though she has spent many hours on the same channel litigating her own cases in streams that are labeled Idaho 4. In a minute, I'm going to walk through her abysmal court record in its totality, but I urge you to join me in looking at the bigger picture here, okay? This is not just a bunch of court rulings. This is a case study in the drastic differences between social media and real life. For instance, on social media, Lana Oriani from Truth and Transparency is a legendary criminal investigator and defense expert with a nonprofit that helps families of the wrongfully accused. But in court, where life is as real as it gets, Lana Oriani is a 13-time litigation loser Ow. who cannot argue her way out of a paper bag. And on top... What's up, guys? True Crime King back on this Monday morning. How we doing? Anyway, I've been, I know I've been doing some negative, uh, some negative videos like with the JBs and the, and the Harshes, so I'm actually going to do a positive video or or uh, rather uh, celebrate somebody's good work so this checkmate humanity uh, which I came across actually does some pretty good work um, she's talking about a truth and transparency or or Lana She's almost as bad as jo as Jonathan Lee Riches. Um, seems like Lana is, is just just sues everybody and and loses them all, right? I mean, you just saw the stats. She's won one case, lost thirteen of them, and fourteen. I mean, and four of them uh, uh, have yet to be decided. But uh, based on her record so far. Uh, I can't, I can't see her winning, winning much, much of them, right? So, uh, yeah, let's learn, let's learn some more about Lana from Truth and Transparency, from Checkmate Humanity. Here we go. Up of that, she is facing criminal charges in Ohio. Like I said before, look at this track record and compare it to how Oriani portrays herself on her channel. In just the past week, two of Oriani's defamation cases were dismissed before she even had an opportunity to argue before a judge. These dis- Yeah, she's going after Jay. She was going after Jay is for justice and, and truth unmasked, which, which she lost both of them. Missiles were issued based solely on her inability to bring compelling enough evidence of her claims to substantiate a trial. In Oriani versus Vanessa from Unmasked, the court in Oriani's own home state ruled that Ohio does not have jurisdiction over Vanessa, a Colorado resident. They made this ruling after a slew of absolutely bananas motions filed by Oriani in the last few months. This was not the only ruling the courts issued. In Oriani versus J is for Justice, the Ohio court dismissed the case based on failure to prosecute. This is the third time that the court in Ohio has physically written the words failure to prosecute on public court documents on lawsuits that she herself filed. On social media, Oriani made... Yeah, so it, it sounds like uh, Miss Lana um, isn't too good at, at following these these motions. Uh, maybe she needs to get you know an attorney to help her out, right? Um, and if if you go to to her page and actually watch some of her videos, in in a lot of them she she uh, boasts and you know 
before these have taken place and uh, saying how she's going to take down all, all, all these YouTubers. Um, and so far, she really hasn't done anything to lose. <laughs> right? It seems like that was just a big, big ass waste of time to me. Right? And you're, what are you doing? I mean, what are you, what are you bringing all these cases for all, all these uh, creators for, right? I mean, sounds like you're just trying to be a, a bully uh, and try and and you're just wasting time. I mean, what the fuck are you? You're losing them all, right? So, if she's losing them all, that also says that she really doesn't even have a case. Uh, like, like Ch Miss Checkmate just said, uh, most of these won't even get to the point of, of being read by, by a judge. <laughs> Made hours and hours of content indignantly boasting about how she was going to burn everyone on YouTube down with her insane litigation skills. In reality, she filed all kinds of complaints against people on YouTube and has lost 99% of them. True to her uncanny ability to be the living anti-embodiment of truth and... and I mean, there in court, she, she looks a lot different than her than that one picture that she always has up you know, on her YouTube, the one picture of her. It looks a lot different. Transparency. You've not heard this on her YouTube channel. You've heard it here. And again, uh, I have a little cold, so sorry. Sorry for the sniffles, sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm talking a little weird this morning. And you may have heard it on other channels, such as Father Snuggles and Anyanka. Can you believe it? After spending hours and hours and hours litigating these cases on YouTube, she has yet to fire up a live to truthfully and transparently tell her audience, some of which contributed to her legal defense and to her nonprofit, that she has been summarily shut down by the highest legal authorities that will hear her many, many complaints. Here's the updated scoreboard. Because anyone who makes a sport out of filing frivolous lawsuits deserves all right, so hold on real quick. All right, Truth and Transparency versus uh, Vanessa from Unmasked, which is also a good channel that I like. Uh, she hasn't been uh, very active since since this case. Been a couple months, but uh, I would suggest you check her channel out as well. But, okay, so, so that gets dismissed. Then, then she, then Truth and Trent Lana goes after JS for justice, defamation, defamation, dismissed, failure to prosecute. Uh, a lot of these are, and then she goes, you get down to Vanessa. I mean, she goes after Vanessa twice here for civil protection, denied, denied. Okay. And then she's father snuggles, another civil protection, denied. Okay, the the one that she, that she did win versus Aunt Lala, she she was granted a civil protection. Okay, she, then she goes after Anyaka. I'm guessing denied. Also, oh, all these got denied. The one that she was granted was a civil protection order against. Aunt Lala, which I have no fucking idea who that is, but uh, yeah, it seems like she's going after she she was just trying to get people for defamation, which it's it's I mean it's kind of hard to do on YouTube to be honest with you. I mean, you better know what you're doing, you know. You know? But uh, yeah, there's the proof right there. It's not a good track record, right? And I'm sure by now, the courts in Ohio, I mean, they they know her by name uh, now, by now, I'm 100% positive of that. 
and they're pro and they're probably like, oh my god, another one, you know. First, a scoreboard. Focus on the top lines here: wins, losses, and TBDs, and also criminal charges. And let me be very clear. This is based on what I know. I could be wrong. There may be a there may be a detail or two in this that's wrong. So don't hold me to this. But I feel that I've probably been following the legal status of Lana's cases closer than most people. So as I said, the most important thing to keep in mind is that after filing what's that 13, 17, 18 Okay. TBD, just so everybody's clear, is to be decided. It means it hasn't been decided yet. I, just, I know some people aren't going to know that. Different civil actions against people on YouTube. She has one win so far. And even if she wins on the TBDs that she has pending... She'll never overcome her loss record. In yeah, that, that's kind of... Uh, she, she's kind of a clown, right? If you think about it. Uh, I mean, what are you doing, Lana? You're going to court and you're losing 99% of the time. Like, what are you doing, right? Sports, that's a loser, right? But... Let's keep going. Here are the dispositions, the outcomes of the cases that we know of. The first set of cases here are the ones that are closed. All right, and that's where I get the number 13 losses. The defamation case versus Vanessa from Unmasked, she just received a loss. It was dismissed for jurisdiction. Also made a ruling in Truth and Transparency versus J is for Justice for defamation. Yes, I'm uh, being petty there. She put defamation at the heading of the J is for Justice lawsuit as well as mine. And in both of those cases, they were dismissed for failure to prosecute. She basically filed these lawsuits and then didn't show up. Okay, and it's her responsibility as the filer to have the burden of proof to follow i mean that makes it so much worse so lana truth and transparency is filing the, all these and then to some of them she's not even showing up to court right and she's the one that that, that brought all this to, to be able to go to the court in the first place does that make any sense to anybody right so she's just doing this knowing she has no shot at winning some of these doesn't even show up to court and i'm sure that uh jay is for justice showed up and and these all these defendants showed up right i mean that is clown, that is clown material right there. Uh, yeah. um, I, to be honest with you, uh, I've just lost a ton of respect for, 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 if I did have any, for truth and transparency. But uh, now that I can see it, you know, it's right here in front of everybody. But anyway, I just wanted to, uh, to show you guys that, and uh, yeah, tell you, check out uh, Checkmate Humanity's channel. She does some good work. Positive video instead of all uh, all these negative ones. But until next time, guys. True Crime King out.